Hi, Mr. Wahab. Long time no see. How have you been? Hi, Karen. Thanks for coming by. I haven't been doing so well. I feel frustrated. I've been taking my medication, but my blood sugar remains the same. I was told that besides taking medication, I have to improve my diet and exercise too. It is so overwhelming. You feel disappointed because your sugar did not improve although you have been taking medication. Isn't taking medication enough? How can I improve my diet and find time to exercise while working full time? I know it sounds hard and overwhelming. How about taking baby steps? Baby steps? Yes, baby steps. One small step at a time. What do you recommend? For us that, we can try to cut down sugar intake by ordering kopi or kosong instead of kopi. Once that is achieved, we can then look at the intake of white rice. Try cutting down on the portion size or alternatively, try brown rice instead. If exercising sounds intimidating, then how about we start with alighting one to two bus stops before your destination and walk. Alright, I love drinking kopi. Your suggestion sounds great. And yes, walking sounds less intimidating than running. Perhaps I could also try climbing the stairs instead of taking the lift? Taking baby steps helps you to feel more confident of achieving a bigger goal after completing the small goal. If you prefer a more structured program, there are other programs that can help patients manage their chronic conditions safely. I can share those resources with you. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel like I have more direction after setting a clear goal. One last word of advice. Take these baby steps with your colleagues, friends or loved ones. You need not be going through this alone. Wow, well, you have packed your lunch today. Yes, I'm trying to make changes for my diabetes. Wow, that must be really tough to pack your food every day. Oh, I'm trying to do it when I can now. I decided to start one day a week and see how it goes. It seems that now it's actually a lot more doable that you're doing one day at a time. That's indeed a good idea. Your food looks nice. Can you share with me the recipe? I'd like to pack my lunch in future. Sure, I'm happy to share. Hey, I've got some cake. You want to share? Wow, of uh, course. Sure. Oh, that's such a small piece. Do you want a bigger slice? I'm trying to reduce my sugar intake. Just a small piece for a special occasion is good enough. Food does taste better when shared. With the support of my loved ones, I can live with diabetes and not live alone with diabetes. Living a balanced life with diabetes involves good self-management. This balance will be constantly shifting and there are bound to be challenges. It will be hard to achieve adherence every time and when we fall off the target, we need to be kind to ourselves. At tough times like this, we need to forgive ourselves and take some time to rest and reflect. We should not give up, but instead make baby steps towards the goals from where we are. We should also remember that we are not alone in our journey and that support from our loved ones can help us along the way. This not only applies to people living with diabetes, but to everyone wanting to live a healthy and balanced life. A healthy and balanced life is achievable through baby steps. You need to really live with diabetes. So you need to take regular medication, not only that, but you also need to improve your diet and your exercises. So give example, if your colleague offer you a cake, so just take a piece just to reduce your sugar intake. The challenges living with diabetes is basically diet of course and more on exercises. Nowadays, uh, after COVID, I actively bowl because that is my interest. I'm not able to jog because of my leg injury. So to motivate me, I will go together with my family and even uh, a walk to Makrichi. So you need a family support. It will boost up your morale in terms of exercises. Do 
your blood sugar level strictly. Hi, I'm Dr. Glenn, a GP working in the community. My clinic is part of the Central North Primary Care Network, which is a cluster of clinics supported by the National Healthcare Group. Clinics under this network of private doctors receive support from the public healthcare sector to provide better, comprehensive care for our chronic patients. In turn, polyclinics will refer suitable patients to these clinics to be cared for in the community. This is in line with MOH Healthier SG's initiative towards preventive care, patient empowerment and control of chronic diseases in the community before they develop into further complications. Today, we have Sean who will share with us more on his journey of diabetes and how his GP motivated him to better manage his condition. Hi Sean, nice to meet you today. Hi Dr. Glenn, happy to be here. Yes, do you still remember why we decided to check you for diabetes initially? Yes, uh, I initially contacted you uh, because I was experiencing some lifestyle changes, especially you know, running to the toilet uh, more frequently at night, having also a little bit of tingling sensation, especially when I sit down or when I drive the car. Um, and also my vision was uh, at times uh, you know, slightly affected as well. Oh yeah, I remember those times that you tell me about your symptoms. Since then, was there anything you struggled with when you were first diagnosed with diabetes? Yeah, the realisation that I'll be on uh, the medication for the rest of my life, I think that was a little bit more of a hard pill to swallow for me. Uh, that sounds really tough. Huh? Because of that, how did you actually motivate yourself to control your diabetes better? I have a young boy, he's, he's two years old now, um, and I uh, realised I need to be as healthy as possible for him. You know, I made some lifestyle changes uh, as recommended by you. You know, I was also very determined to lose weight, right? You were, you were telling me how important that was, especially for, for a diabetic like me now. Happy to report, since then I've lost about 10 kg since the last diagnosis. Well, it seems like you're doing very well on your diabetes journey. How did your partnership with you know, a regular doctor with me help with your diabetes control and journey? I think the key uh, to diabetes management is actually tracking and recording uh, your blood sugar levels, um, which you do every quarter for me and I do regularly at home. I think it's really key that you know you, everybody uh, who has diabetes have a blood sugar monitor so that they can track uh, what they eat um, and cut down on uh, the things that uh, increases your blood sugar, right? especially new diabetics like myself. Is there anything you would like to say to people who are actually facing similar struggles like you? Yeah, I mean, you know, even though I have uh, diabetes, it can be adequately managed, right? By following doctor's instructions, your instructions, taking your medication on time, of course, uh, ma maintaining a healthy lifestyle as well. You know, there's a fair bit of assistance in Singapore uh, to make, uh, you know, diabetes management completely affordable. But for those who suspect that you have diabetes, um, you know, my recommendation is have it checked immediately as early control of pre-diabetes can prevent uh, progression to diabetes, as you know.